in the land of Freya. Written by Frankie Caron, illustrated and narrated by Desiree Caron. In the land of Freya lives Freya, the smallest of the tenderlings in the giant forest. Freya lives in her village of Nesterland in the great forest with her mother, Queen Darling, and her father, King Riktek. Freya's butterfly governess is Blue. Blue is by Freya's side day and night. Blue guides Freya through the giant forest with her bright wings lighting their path in dark places. Freya and Blue travel far into the great forest together, laughing, playing, and visiting all the forest creatures. Freya has learned to follow Blue, trusting the giant blue butterfly. Blue, the giant butterfly, protects Freya with all her might. One day, Blue and Freya strayed far from the village of Nesterland. Freya called to Blue, Blue, what path is this? Blue replied and said, Freya, we must not take that path. It leads to Raven's Den. Raven's Den, exclaimed Freya. Yes, Freya, Raven's Den is not where tenderlings should venture. It has been said that Raven's Den is filled with creatures so large that a tenderling may never be seen again. Not to worry, Freya, we have our own forest to play in, and I can keep you safe, too. Freya accepted Blue's explanation, and the two of them went on the path to Wolf's forest. Freya ran down the path chasing Blue. Blue had great skills flying and maneuvering her great blue wings through the giant trees, and in no time at all they reached the edge of Woof's forest. Woof had been good friends with Blue for many years. Freya had never met Woof before and called out, Woof! Woof! Are you there? There was no response as Freya listened. Again Freya called out, Woof! Woof! It's me, Freya, from the giant forest of Nesterland. Again, Freya waited for a response. Freya called out, I am Freya, daughter of Queen Darling and King Riktek. I am a tenderling. Do not be afraid, Woof. I have come to bring you a heckle bone. Then all of a sudden, the trees started to blow, and the giant birds began squawking. Freya's eyes widened, and she held onto Blue's hand. Oh, Blue, please hold me. I'm not strong enough. The wind, the wind is too strong, said Freya. Blue held Freya with all her might. Blue yelled out, Woof, Woof, it's me, Blue. Please, Woof, stop playing. Come out and meet Freya the Tenderling. Just then, Freya and Blue heard the trees silent and the birds quiet. Out from the giant trees came Woof. Woof was a fancy-looking creature, not at all what Freya had expected. Woof approached Freya and said, Welcome, my tenderling friend Freya, and welcome to Woof's forest. Woof had tears falling from her eyes when she saw Blue. Blue and Woof had been great friends for what seemed like a lifetime. Blue, my friend, I have missed you. I thought I must have been dreaming when I heard your voice. It has been a long time, my friend. Blue and Wolf hugged, and Freya got squeezed between them. Hey! shouted Freya. Then Blue and Wolf stepped back and smiled at Freya. Freya knew she was with kind, gentle giants. Freya pulled out the heckle bone she had in her bag for Wolf. Oh my, cheerfully exclaimed Woof. Freya, I haven't had a heckle bone for years. Thank you, Freya. Woof let out a big woof, woof. This made Freya laugh out loud. Oh, Woof, said Freya, you are welcome, Woof. And any time I have a heckle bone, I shall save it just for you. Freya made a new giant friend that day. Thank you, Blue, for bringing Freya to Wolf's forest. She is the smallest tenderling I have ever seen and daughter of king and queen. She is the most beautiful tenderling I have ever seen. Freya smiled and said, Wolf, I have come a long way with Blue to meet you, and you, Wolf, are now my friend. I have something to ask you, Wolf, said Freya. Why do they call you Wolf? 
Woof lifted her head back and threw her hair over her shoulders, and suddenly her mouth opened. She held Freya by the hand and called through that giant forest, Woof! 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 The sound echoed in the giant forest, and all the creatures heard Woof's calls as the trees swayed and even the squigglings were silent. Freya laughed so hard that her belly was jiggling and wiggling. <laughs> Oh, Woof, now I understand. You sound just like a giant dog. They all laughed, and Woof said, Yes, Freya, this is the call of Woof's forest. It announces to the forest that a tenderling is in its midst. It tells the creatures of Woof's forest to watch for the tiny tenderling so no harm comes to them, and you, Freya, are now protected by me, and Blue, and all the other creatures. Freya began to shed a tear. Freya, why do you cry? asked Blue. Freya whimpered and replied, Will I ever be a giant like you, Blue? Blue replied, Freya, you are a tenderling now, but one day you shall have all the strength of your father, all the beauty of your mother, and the size of all the giants. You shall have a voice as loud as woof and the grace of a blue butterfly. Do not fear, Freya. Soon you will be one of the finest tenderlings ever known in Lesterland and in all the giant forests. Freya listened carefully to Blue's words, and somehow she knew that Blue once again was guiding her and giving her the truth. Freya smiled and said, Oh, Blue, how do you always know how to make me smile? Blue replied and said, Freya, I have always been with you and always will be. I am your friend as long as you wish me to be. Freya was so happy, she shouted as loud as she could, Woof! 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 into the great forest. All the creatures came to see the tenderling, hearing Woof's way. Woof laughed out loud and said, Freya, even the creatures of Woof's forest heard you. You may be a tenderling, but you command the forest creatures, and soon you will be leading them as I do. Freya listened intently to Woof and her words. Somehow, she believed her trusted friend. The End